In today's video, we are going to learn how to automatically shut down EC2 instances on a weekend. If you have not subscribed to the channel, then please do the same. I have already created multiple videos on real world AWS projects and will be creating more such videos. Today's use case is a very simple use case where we want to shut down our machines at the beginning of the weekend like Friday p.m. in the evening and we want to restart those machines on a Monday morning but we don't want to do these things manually we should be able to automatically perform these actions so this will definitely save a lot of money for your organization and I have personally implemented the same within my organization so for achieving this functionality we can we have to use the amazon event bridge service i have previously talked about amazon event bridge but it was in a different context of event driven applications but today we are going to use event bridge as a scheduler event bridge provides you a functionality wherein at a particular point of time you can trigger a particular target a target can be a lambda function or it can be any other AWS service. So for, for our particular activity, we are going to create an event bridge scheduler which will trigger a lambda function. And the lambda function will determine how many EC2 instances are running within our AWS account and it will shut down those EC2 instances. You can also add a capability to not shut down the instances which are important. We can add a tag, something like shutdown is false, and our Lambda function will look at the tag present on the EC2 instance and it will not shut down that particular EC2 instance. All the other instances will be automatically shut down. So let's quickly do a hands-on of this activity. The first step of the activity is to create EC2 instances. We will select Amazon Linux as the operating system, E2 Micro as the instance type, and our default key pair. And we will create two EC2 instances, and I will launch these instances. While this is in progress, I will create a new lambda function. This lambda function will terminate, will shut down the EC2 instances whenever it is triggered. For creating a lambda function, we need to first create a IAM role. And this IAM role will provide access to the EC2 service from lambda. So I am under IAM role section. And here I will select the AWS service as Lambda. And I will select the permission as EC2 full access. Give it a name. And create this role. Once the role got created, I will come back to my Lambda screen. We will give it a name. And we will select Python as the runtime. We will need an execution role. And here we will first refresh this drop down. And we will use the role that we have just now created. Let's create this function. For this function to work correctly, we need to provide an appropriate Python code. Python code is present in my GitHub repository. I will copy the Python code from here. Go back to my Lambda. Delete this code base and paste this function. And let's deploy this code. <clears throat> so our Lambda changes are done. The last step of the activity is to create a event bridge scheduler. This scheduler will trigger at a particular time which is specified in the schedule and it will trigger the lambda function that we have created. 
so let's give this scheduler a name weekend pc2 cut down it will be a recurring schedule because we want to trigger this activity on every friday and we are going to use a cron based schedule cron is a very famous scheduler in a unix or a linux operating system and it has got a peculiar syntax where we need to specify the minute hours and few other details so let's say we want to do it at 20 hours on a friday night month is star day of the week is 6 year is star what this means is that at 8 pm in the night every month on the 6th day of the week which is a friday the numbering starts from 1 1 is sunday and 7 is a saturday so 6 is friday and so if you specify this kind of a expression here cron expression then you the event bridge scheduler will trigger the alarm on every friday at 8 p but we will have to, but if we specify this scheduler then we will have to wait till friday evening so what we will do is we will check the current time which is a uh, sunday 8 october on 10:6 so i will specify 10:8 as the triggering time so 10 is 22 hours i will change the minute to 8 and it is a sunday so i will put 1 over here right so it is going to trigger in another minute or so so i will say flexible time window is off and uh, let's do next i will select lambda as my target it will ask me to specify a function i will say shut down ec2 there is there is no input payload do next select the default options and do next let's just review this 2208 that is all good and we are going to create this scheduler now the time is 10:07 what we will do is we will go back to our uh, lambda uh, ec2 instances and we will do one thing we will just change we will set these tags on one of the ec2 instance so we will go into the tags and uh, we will manage tags add a new tag and i will say shut down is equals to false which means that this particular instance i don't want to shut down okay shut down is false for the other one i have not specified the tag what it means is that the code that we have written the uh, lambda python code it basically checks for the tag and if the shutdown tag is present and it is set to false then it is not going to shut down that particular ec2 instance so if in your company there are few ec2 instances which are important and you don't want to shut down then you can set that kind of a tag and that particular instance will not shut down so let's say it is 1008 let's go back here we were a little very quick from a time perspective let's do a refresh so what you will see is this instance got stopped why it got stopped because the event bridge scheduler triggered the lambda function and the lambda function stopped this ec2 instance i think that's all from this exercise perspective one activity that you can do on your own is to start this ec2 instances on a monday morning because that is a normal flow on friday evening you shut down your ec2 instances and on a monday morning you start this so you can create that lambda as a homework or as a home activity and try it out i think that's all and have a good day guys thanks for watching